Fear is a powerful emotional experience in which some of the population hide from and avoid while others seek out and enjoy. Being scared can activate a number of brain pathways and in turn can cause a cascade of neurotransmitters and hormones to be released. The sudden rush of hormones such as adrenaline can be the reason why some people enjoy being scared, especially in cases where the person is in no imminent danger. In fact, the feelings induced by fear can be strongly associated with excitement. Fear can act on parts of the brain such as the amygdala, which is a critical component to a fear response, as it releases important neurotransmitters such as glutamate. Glutamate then goes on to cause a range of responses, especially in a region known as the periactactyl gray. This region is responsible for classic involuntary scared behaviors, including freezing and jumping. Other than bringing about certain emotions and actions, fear can also boost our self-esteem and confidence. This works by carrying out certain tasks or activities despite our fears and negative feelings associated with the action. For example, the fear of approaching someone you're attracted to, despite the fear of rejection and self-doubt when approaching the person, these feelings dissipate and after the interaction, no matter the outcome, you're left with a feeling of liberation and self-belief. Research by Nobu Mazataka has shown children young as three have an easier time spotting snakes on a computer screen than spying flowers. This reinforces the belief that danger and fear is an instinct that we can detect even at a young age. The Greek philosopher Aristotle claimed that people were attracted to scary movies and violent and traumatic plays because it gave them a chance to purge their negative emotions, a process he called catharsis. So going with his theory, we would have to watch scary and violent movies in order to release negative feelings. Unfortunately, research has shown quite the opposite, with violent movies and boxing events contributing to an increase in crime rates. Majority of times when watching horror movies, it allows us to fulfill gender roles. In fact, the part of the brain that is active when the person next to you screams when watching a horror movie is also active in you when watching them scream. This does not only intensify our own emotional experience, but also makes us closer to those who are with us. Fear is a great evolutionary adaptation. It has a great bearing over the survival of the human population over thousands of years. However, today fear can be exploited for its biological effects for those seeking thrills. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.